YouTube, YouTube, what is good? Welcome back to another episode of Marvin's Room. Thank you guys, as always, for joining me wherever you're at in the world. To the new subscribers, welcome to the channel. My name is Marvin, and I'm a conscious life manifesting coach, helping you guys manifest whatever it is that you want via the teachings of Abraham, Neville, Florence Govul Shin, Joseph Murphy, and the list goes on. All of these great law of attraction teachers, past and present. Um, so I hope you guys come to this channel and get what you're looking for. And thank you guys as always for rocking with me and tuning in. Um, now today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys and kind of like reiterate and, and kind of drill it into your heads, the importance of letting go and what that looks like and how to accomplish that in a sense, because I've realized like so many of these law of attraction you know, techniques or whatever term you want to use, whatever word you want to want to use in theory and principle, all of this stuff is like so rudimentary. It's so elementary. But in the practicing of these techniques, that's where so many slip ups come in, because talking about this, it sounds like, oh, yeah, I could do that. You know, oh, yeah, this, the next person over here can do that. OK, but then again, Okay, if everyone can do it, then why aren't we doing it? If everyone can do it, then why don't we have what we want to have? You know what I mean? Like these are the, these are the things that kind of get your mind rolling. And I want to talk to you. I don't want to excuse me. I want to talk to you guys about you know. And again, in particular, with 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 letting go because we all can do these things. We all can let go. But I don't understand why so many times us as humans we turn things into rocket science. Manifesting is not E equals MC squared. Manifesting isn't we need to build a rocket ship to in order to get to the moon. You know, manifesting is not we need to find a needle in a haystack. You know, but we turn these things into it. And one of the things that we turn into that is letting go, which again is very rudimentary. You guys have to understand letting go may be the most important part to the manifestation process. You know, because if I had to break it down into steps, I would say probably step one to, would be to set an intention. So step one is always to set a clear intention because if you don't set a clear intention, then the universe is gonna give you basically whatever you have going on inside. So if you have a bunch of uncertainty in what you wanna manifest, then the universe is going to present you whatever it is that you were scripting or visualizing or whatever, it's going to give it to you in that way. So it's not going to be exactly what you might have wanted. But when you get clear and concise on what it is that you want to manifest and you affirm on it, the universe almost always yields it, yield it, um, it yielded to you in a very, very reasonable amount of time. And I think that is because a person has become clear and concise. But again, everyone's different, you know, and we can try to decode and say, oh, well, this happened because of this or that happened because of that. But at the end of the day, we really don't know because we are gods, but we are we are just a, a part of the bigger overall picture of this manifestation power that we have access to. Now, after you set a clear intention and, and get specific, I think easily the next step is to let it go period you know we can create other steps in between like you know reading it every day or you know reading your scripts every day or visualizing every day or whatever the case may be and you know to bridge that gap to say okay from a to b what happens in between all of this empty space right here you could come up with that list and that list is separately but really manifesting literally is setting an intention of what you want and being clear and concise about what it is that you want so the universe knows exactly how to bring it to you gift wrap the best way, fastest way possible. And then literally let go, like that's it. And when we say let go, we don't mean let go in the sense of, oh, don't want the desire anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like that's not what, what we mean when we use the term let go. When we say let go, we mean let go of the obsession, let go of the thinking about it 24 seven, let go of the constantly worrying about the how and the when something is going to happen because too many times that's what we get caught up in. We get caught up in the when 
and the how. And we think that if we don't worry about that, then that means we don't care. We think that if we don't worry in relationships or we don't worry with this and that, that means we don't care. And I don't know where this, this came from um, or how it was developed in the people, you know, maybe, maybe movies, maybe media, you know, the news, whatever you want to call it, you know, whatever the case may be. But I, for the life of me, I can't understand why people think worrying is going to solve a problem. Worrying will never, ever solve a problem. And you cannot use the same energy that you use to create the problem. You can't use that same energy to solve it necessarily. Um, and what I mean by that is the same, the, like, I'm talking about the problem thinking. You can't solve a problem thinking about the problem. You can't solve a problem worrying about the problem. You have to shift your energy to the solution, obviously, and how the solution would feel, you know? So again, this is just, these are just things that I'm observing over time and, 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 and paying attention to how people handle and process things. And like I said, worrying, I just, I have no idea why people do it because it's not going to solve anything. I mean, I get it, but you don't need to worry in order to show that you care about something or you, you don't need to worry to show people like, okay, I'm trying to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Like, Nobody cares. Nobody's paying attention anyway, because on the surface, people can't, we can't pick up on that kind of stuff. We can pick up, the universe picks up on it 100%, but other people, you know, they're not going to be able to pick up on it and recognize it unless it's you that's constantly talking about it. So understand letting go means to let go of the obsession, let go of the desire. You know what I'm saying? Let go of the needing whatever it is that you want to manifest. That's what we mean by letting go. We don't mean, oh, you know, stop wanting it. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a there's a definitely a fine line between wanting something and obsessing about something. And most of you guys, especially in, in, in regards to SP, most of you guys are obsessing about your SPs and you're obsessing about what they're doing or when they're doing it or if they don't do this or if they don't do that. You got to let all of that shit go. You got to let all of that shit go. You have to. Because that's what's creating so much resistance in you. And how do you let go? The age old question people always say, how do you let go? How do you let go? Like, what do you do? Honestly, again, like I started off this video, it's very rudimentary. It's elementary. It's kind of, it's just like Nike in a sense. You just do it. Like you literally have to, you literally just have, you just do it. You wake up and you start to, you know, do your affirmations and do certain things to get your mind to rewire your brain, to rewire your neurons you know what I mean? To create new thoughts, to create new feelings, to be able to stay in those feelings, because that's how this stuff happens is it's repetition. You know, it's I feel like a lot of you guys watch videos to get that next secret. Like, oh, I need that next secret. I need that next hit. And it's like, no, you don't need to read any more books. You don't need to watch any more videos. You just need to actually apply and letting go is a part of that applying and it's the hardest part because we don't want it. We think that if we let go, we're going to lose our desires. And it's like, no, you're not going to lose your desires. The fact that you let go shows how much faith you actually have that your desires are going to come and going to manifest. Because if you had something in your possession right now, you wouldn't be thinking about it 24-7. You wouldn't be worried about it 24-7 because that's not the natural vibration of when you have something in your possession. But because you're so focused on the 3D world and you don't have it, you're looking at it like, oh man, I need this, I need this, I need this, I need this, I need this. When is it gonna come? 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 When is it gonna happen? Oh, this stuff doesn't work. It doesn't work. Listen, the law is 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 flawless. Okay? The law always works and it's always working. If there's any delay in anything that we want in our lives, it's be always because of us. It's not it's never because of, you know, oh, the universe is is not doing its job. The universe always does its job. But are we doing our job? in setting an intention? Are we doing our job and not worrying? Are we doing our job in letting go of the how and the when, when it shows up? You know what I'm saying? If there's literally like almost always, there's any delay, the delay is because there is a contrast going on between what your desire is, um, what you want and, 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 and when it's going to show up. There's some sort of contrast going on inside of you in any delayed manifestation. You know, you got something going on. You know what I mean? So, and that's for everyone, you know what I'm saying? But that doesn't mean necessarily that you're doing something wrong. You know, you just got to wait until the, until you get your, 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 your thoughts and your words and your emotions, et cetera, in, in alignment more so. 
and then things will show up. It, it looks like there's no movement all the time, but trust me, there is movement. There's always movement, even when it doesn't seem like it. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, the universe is always working to bring us whatever vibration that we are always in, you know, and that's why things fluctuate. That's why things take time to happen. That's why things can't happen quickly. Could you imagine if literally everything you thought about literally popped up in into your reality? Like imagine, can, can you really imagine how crazy that would be? Like if all you had to literally do is think something, you don't even need the feeling behind the thought. And this is why... A lot of you, I want you guys to realize you got to be happy and grateful that a lot of you don't get what you actually want to manifest. It's because literally, if that happened, their manifestation, the manifestation creation process would be just out of control. It would be out of control. And all of these weird things and, you know, events would be happening and all of this pop up stuff. Like, literally, we should be grateful that everything we think about doesn't manifest very quickly. And I, and I sincerely, I sincerely mean that, like we should be grateful because this world would be, it would be a hell of a lot more weird and, and messed up than it already is. You know what I'm saying? But again, back to letting go, you let go by taking away the importance of things. That's one of the biggest pieces, if not the biggest pieces to letting go is you take away the emphasis, you take off of the emphasis, whatever it is you want to manifest, whether it's money, whether it's a house, car, a specific person, doesn't matter what it is, you take away the emphasis. That's one of the biggest reasons why people cannot manifest and they cannot let go is because they're putting too much emphasis on what it is that they want. They're putting too much attention, too much power, too much everything. And in order to let go, you have to basically give zero meaning to whatever you're basically trying to manifest and you have to make it feel like you already have it because if you already had something, you wouldn't be in such feeling of lack and, you know, impatience and, you know, all of the other superlatives you can say, you know what I mean? So you got to understand like that's to me, that's the biggest piece in letting go is that's the how that's the biggest piece in the how to let go is you have to stop giving meaning to all of these outside external things. You have to stop giving meaning to status. Oh, if I get this, then I will be considered rich. Or if I get this, then I will be considered famous. Or if I, you know, do X, Y, and Z, then drop expectations. That's letting go. That's letting go. Doing all of these sorts of things. And again, rudimentary in concept, in theory, but we all know when it comes down to actually doing and applying, whole nother ball game. So I want you guys to really focus on letting go and what that really means. Look at whatever it is you want to manifest in your life, whether it's an SP or whatever the case may be. Go through those steps I just told you. Get clear and concise about what it is that you want and set the intention and whatever details you want to include. And then second step is to purely let go. Let go of the how, let go of the when, let go of the obsession, let go of the control, and let the universe do its part. Let go by taking whatever it is that you want to manifest off of the pedestal. Take away the importance. Take away all of that, because I'm pretty sure and I'm willing to bet that's a huge piece of why so many people cannot manifest what they want. All right, guys, just want to jump in here real quick. Share this message with you again on letting go because it's such a big piece and uh, a huge part of, you know, I think a lot of setbacks in this manifestation process. All right. I'll see you guys next time. You know where, you know when.